All right, so when you hear about middle quarters, what comes to mind? Shrimp, right? Yes. So joining us today is none other than Miss Beverly Bailey. Miss Beverly, she's loved and called the master shrimp vendor. Mm -hmm. And also we have... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Managing Director of Cocktails to Go 876. He's here to discuss the art of crafting exquisite drink garnishes. Yes. Look at this, it's really good. Morning to both of you, morning to both of you. All right, Miss Bev, let's start with you because from you came inside here this morning, all I'm smelling is the good old scotch bonnet pepper. Um, you know, you're doing your thing. It's an amazing story that you do have though. I mean, you've gone through so much and you return to St. Elizabeth. Yes. Yeah. So let's start there. Why, why did you decide to take on this particular, uh, you know, career? Let's call it a career, because it is. It's a it career is, in food. Yes, it yeah. is a career. I had struggles, and because I had struggles, I had my children to send to school, and I was not working. Mm -hmm. So I made a decision to start selling shrimp, because my mom and my grandmother mm -hmm. was a shrimp vendor, and so I decided to start selling shrimp, yeah. because I had struggles. So I started then over 15 years ago. Love that, I love that. Now, let's talk about the expertise in preparing shrimp. Because people may think that shrimp is so easy to prepare, but it's not, right? So give us the one, two steps. The one, two step is, as you can see over here, Yes. I have a pimento. I Into the pot. Oh, you pot. guys really can't see this. Yes. Are you seeing the steam? So this is the pimento. Pimento leaves. I have you have some scotch bonnet. And I have a little brown pepper. And some brown pepper. Yes. Okay, but you can't see it really. It's really, really hot in us. So hold on, let me try and see if I can I can tilt it. Can you know say, you know say, see it there now. All right, we can see what's going on now. All right, look in my pot, guys. Look yes. into the pot. You see the yes. pimento leaves? There we go, yes. and I shrimp around the corner around there, so. Yes. And you have some finished shrimp for us, and because when you're coming through middle quarters, the shrimp is a must. It's a must. Yeah. Yes. And I have prepared a shrimp here, and this is the middle quarters real peppered shrimp. Mm. And um, this is how I prepared it. I added there it a little, is. Yes. Oh, look pepper, at that mustard. color. Yes, and everything. Wow. And it's now ready to eat. Yeah. So what sets Miss Bev's shrimp apart from every other vendor in middle quarters, darling? Well, you know, I, I do my shrimp in a very special way. Yes. Because not everybody in middle quarters use the pimento leaf. Oh. But, um, well, I think everybody's going to know about it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still going to have the secret ingredient, which is love, right? Yes. All right, Miss right. Bev, I'm going to try one of them shrimp here while Deidre and make her little cocktail over there. So, because she's going to give me some. Deidre, yes, what's happening over Listen, there? Listen, so? we need to wash down all of that shrimp and it, it pepper, you know, it's spicy and everything. And everything right here. Looks just awesome and refreshing. So Rainweed is going to talk to us about his art in garnishing. I mean, this is not your average pouring a glass and then put a straw in the top. No. Tell me about your creative process. All right. So what we do at Cocktails to Go 876, we provide a service you can have from your house or at a special event or anywhere at all. You're at the beach, you're at a river, you can have a cocktail and or a mocktail. A lot of us pay attention to garnishing our food to ensure that we plate it right and it looks good on the plate, but yep. the importance of doing so for your drink as well. Yes, drinks, are, drinks is food, so we want it to be presentable. We, we offer premium service, mm -hmm. so our garnishes have to be premium. All right, talk to me about what you have here on display, this one. All right, so this one here is a Shreps lychee spritz. All right, so it's made from, um, Lychee, soda water, and lime juice simple syrup. And then this one is what? All right, so we have a rosemary iced tea. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it's made from locally grown rosemary. We grow our own fruits and vegetables, and um, it's made from tea. I didn't even know that you could put rosemary in, in your drink. Definitely. We're used to the, the pineapple or the strawberry, but you're giving me other things, or even a little bit of lime. You're using other stuff in yours. Yes, so what we do at Cocktails to Go 876, we explore um, the market, we support local grown um, produce. Mm -hmm. So we saw rosemary one day and we were very, um, we thought about using it and we tried it and it was excellent. Awesome. Any social media platforms for us to be able to reach out to you guys if you wanna, you know? You can reach us on Instagram at cocktails to go 876 Cocktails to go 876 mm -hmm. Let me see if I could try the iced tea with the shrimp. That sounds like a... <laughs> yes. like, you want yours, Debbie? I got the purple. Yeah, it's all right. I'm going to try mine afterwards, guys. But thanks so much for joining us, everybody. And yes. you know, as I said to you before, it's abbreviated. Thank you so much, Dee, for being my co-host this morning. Thank you for having me. Big up to Miss Bev and Oreen. Yes, Make sure please. that you enjoy yourselves today, guys. Be safe in whatever you do. And join us again next week for more Weekend Smile. And take care. Bye-bye. Keep a lot to World Championships too. Team Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you want it?